Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel that showcases the worst days in recorded history. Today we bring you the deadliest volcanic events. Number 10, 1902 Santa Maria Eruption. Starting January of 1902, a strange series of natural phenomena began to strike Guatemala. A swarm of earthquakes hit the area, and severe storms wreaked havoc, flooding Guatemala City. The storms mysteriously stopped after a large earthquake on April 18th, and on the 24th of October, the Volcan Santa Maria, which had been dormant throughout all of recorded history, erupted. The explosion was so intense that volcanic ash was found in San Francisco. The people living in the area were unaware that the mountain could become active, and a thick mist shrouded it. The people couldn't see the eruption and didn't evacuate. It's estimated 6,000 deaths occurred that day. Some could have survived, but the local government was too focused on a political event and intentionally announced the eruption was in Mexico. They also had used all emergency funds for the victims of the April earthquake, so survivors of the volcano were abandoned. Piles of ash taller than people remain to this day. Number 9. 1586 Kalud Eruption We'll be showcasing Indonesia quite a bit on this list, as it's located on a hot spot of volcanic activity commonly known as the Pacific Ring of Fire. Kalut is notorious among Indonesia's volcanoes for its violent and often deadly explosive eruptions. Its biggest eruption occurred in 1586 and is believed to have caused more than 10,000 fatalities. The volcano remains active and erupted as recently as 2014. Number 8. 1783 Lucky Disaster The Mid-Atlantic Ridge has a lot of seismic activity. Over an eight-month period from June of 1783 to February 1784, the La Carguer system erupted violently. It split the land open, shot out 42 billion tons of lava up to 1,400 meters or 4,600 feet into the air, and also released massive clouds of poisonous hydrofluoric acid and 120 million tons of sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere. In Iceland, 80% of sheep, 50% of cattle, and 50% of horses succumbed to the fluoride poisoning, which destroyed their skeletal system. The subsequent famine killed 25% of the Icelanders. The darkness and the ash from the eruptions spread across the globe, changing the weather as it went. In monsoon regions, rains failed to fall, killing a sixth of Egypt. Famine worsened in Japan, and hundreds of thousands of lives were lost. Benjamin Franklin even lectured about how North America froze. Ice reached the Gulf of Mexico, while in Europe, the summer of 1783 was the hottest ever recorded, and the poisonous gas created a fog that turned the sun blood red. Number 7. Mount Vesuvius, 79 AD Most people are familiar with the volcanic explosion that wiped Pompeii off the map, but we wanted to flesh out the disaster a bit more. Thanks to the Roman poet Pliny the Younger, we know that the stone and ash were ejected 33 kilometers or 21 miles into the air, which completely buried Pompeii and Herculaneum, while also destroying a dozen other towns. The thermal energy that was released was 100,000 times that of the combined atomic bombs in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and claimed an estimated 13,000 people. Magnetic studies show that the first blast dropped pyroclastic gas and material that was 140 degrees Celsius or 284 degrees Fahrenheit, and after that, no one escaped the area alive, as subsequent blasts brought outside temperatures to 300 degrees Celsius or 572 Fahrenheit. What made things worse was that the tremors from the volcano led to destructive waves in the waters nearby, so boats were damaged and sank. As it has a tendency to erupt violently and explosively, it is still regarded as one of the most dangerous volcanoes on the planet, as three million people live close enough to be impacted when it erupts again. Number 6. 1792 Mount Unzen Mega Tsunami Speaking of Nagasaki, it is where our number 6 deadliest volcanic disaster takes place. In February of 1792, lava began to pour out of the Mount Unzen volcano, and on the 21st of May, that, combined with two large earthquakes, caused an entire section of the mountains to collapse, sending a hot landslide cascading down. This caused a mega-tsunami. 
Because of the shape of the coastline, the tsunami hit one side of the bay, then bounced back, hitting the other side again. It's estimated 15,000 people lost their lives because of the earthquake, volcano, and tsunami combination. Number 5. 1257 Samanas Eruption Thanks to witnesses recording this incident on palm leaves, we have a glimpse into the volcanic event that took 15 to 20,000 lives. Back in Indonesia in 1257, one of the largest eruptions in recorded history took place. Not only were thousands of lives lost due to the volcanic eruption itself, but this event is potentially responsible for a period called the Little Ice Age. Scientists estimate that the volcanic gases blocked solar radiation and caused the global temperature to drop, resulting in famine and crop failures. The volcano left a massive crater behind, and the pyroclastic flows buried the area in up to 35 meters or 115 feet of volcanic material. Number 4. 1985 Nevado de Ruiz Eruption this Colombian volcano has been erupting for the last two million years, and in early November of 1984, seismic activity in the area began to build again, signaling an upcoming eruption. The activity continued on and off for months, and the surrounding residents let down their guard. A year later, on November 13, 1985, Nevado de Ruiz erupted, shooting material 30 kilometers or 19 miles into the sky. The heat melted the summer glaciers and sent thick lahars down four different parts of the mountain at an average speed of 60 kilometers per hour, erasing towns as they went. The electrical storm that followed the volcano cut off communications, so the cities at a higher elevation were unable to warn cities further down the lahars path. Rescue efforts were hindered because the mud made it almost impossible to move. Photographs of the disaster and the dead spread through the media like wildfire, which led to controversy blaming the Colombian government for not taking the scientists' warning seriously and for a lack of preparedness. 23,000 people lost their lives in the event. Be warned, if you are interested in researching this event further, the photos are heartbreaking and brutal. Number 3. 1902 Mount Puli Eruption Many of the Caribbean islands were created by volcanoes along the Caribbean plate, and living on a volcanic island comes with risks. At the end of April 1902, Mount Poulet on the island of Martinique began exploding and ejecting steam and ash from its summit. Residents fled to the crowded settlements below. On the 5th of May, the ground atop the mountain liquefied, and a boiling hot mud flow killed 150 people and created multiple tsunamis that destroyed boats. Three days later, at 8 a.m., a massive explosion came from the volcano. Lava particles combined with the gases, which increased the temperature of the pyroclastic flows to over 1,000 degrees Celsius or 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. It moved at hurricane speed down the volcano into the settlements, killing 28,000 people instantly. Only two in the city survived. Many corpses were found in peaceful poses, meaning they didn't even get the chance to react before the heat killed them. Rescuers and engineers came in to help shortly after, but on the 20th of May 1902, the volcano exploded again, killing 2,000 of them. Three months later, it took the lives of another 800 residents and rescuers, and didn't stop erupting until the end of 1905. Number 2. 1883 Krakatoa Eruption this incident was made more deadly by the fact that the volcano had been showing signs of erupting for years before the events of 1883, and locals became accustomed to the seismic activity. Taking us back to Indonesia, on August 26, 1883, Krakatoa let off four massive explosions, which destroyed 70% of the island. The first two explosions set off tsunamis, reaching 46 meters or 151 feet tall, and the third blast was loud enough to be heard by residents of Australia. It is reported as the loudest sound in recorded history. The pressure wave from the third explosion was traveling at over a thousand kilometers per hour and ruptured the eardrums of sailors 64 kilometers away. A landslide hit shortly after ripping off a part of the mountain and triggering the fourth explosion. In total, over 36,000 people were dead and bodies were found floating in the ocean for months. The ash, 
filled the atmosphere, and people as far away as New York witnessed the sun turn red, which you can see depicted in The Scream, and the moonlight turned blue and purple. Number 1. Mount Tambura Explosion The deadliest volcanic incident is also the most powerful volcanic explosion in recorded history, documented at 4 to 10 times more powerful than our number 2 Krakatoa. After several centuries of dormancy, Mount Tambura began seismic activity in early April of 1815. A large eruption hit on the 5th, and explosions rang out that could be heard for thousands of kilometers. On the 10th, the volcano began spewing lava on all sides. Hot pumice the size of baseballs rained down, and explosions turned the volcano into a crater. 10 billion tons of material was ejected up to 43 kilometers into the air, and ash filled the sky. Everything on the island was destroyed, including 10,000 souls and all plant life. The ash, sulfur, and other poisonous gases spread throughout the globe and blocked out the sun for months, causing temperatures to drop and crops to die. It was so dark that sunspots could be seen with the naked eye and was dubbed the year without summer. Snow fell in the US in June. Monsoons were disrupted, causing famine, and the temperatures allowed a new strain of cholera to spread. Livestock froze to death, and combined with the crops dying, Europe experienced riots, arson, and looting as families starved. There's much debate about how many were killed as a result of this volcano. Indonesian deaths ranged from 38 to 106,000, and famine claimed at least another 90,000 in the Northern Hemisphere alone. The global temperature shift persisted, and it didn't get back to normal for 2.5 years. All life on Earth precariously balances on this thin eggshell we call the crust. It's incredible the power that can come from cracks in that eggshell. Russia even tried to dig a hole through it, but had to stop 12 kilometers down due to extreme heat. Do you live near a volcano? Tell us about it, or your favorite from this list. And always remember to appreciate your good days by learning about the worst ones here at Bad Day HQ. Take care!